Hello! Today's devotional can be found in 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 22. Whom hast thou reproached and blasphemed? And against whom hast thou exalted thy voice and lifted up thine eyes on high, even against the Holy One of Israel? So sometimes we may wonder, why is God mad at us? Like, why does he, like, why does he bring forth trials and make our lives difficult and why does everything seem to be going wrong? Well, although trials are tests of our faith, they, are, they can also come forth as a result of our action or that of another. And if that happens, we need to look at ourselves and say, what are we doing wrong? Who, God's like saying, you you have reproached and blasphemed against me. You've mocked the atonement and you've made yourself cocky and self-centered and all this other stuff and you've looked to you've looked at yourself as this beautiful worldly thing. And God's trying to tell us that we're not just beautiful worldly things, we're beautiful eternal people, souls, that have divine purposes, if we want them. And by being cocky and looking down on God and disregarding the need for God and reaching against Him, we're blaspheming and basically reproaching God, telling Him to back off, and that's not really good, because that gets us as far away from the stairway to exaltation as one can get. So, we need to remember to treat God with reverence and respect. And so that He doesn't reproach us. I mean, by knowingly sinning and not doing anything about it, we're mocking the atonement. We're mocking the fact that Christ suffered for us. And, and that's not really good. That's downright disrespectful. But anyway, it's our choice what we want to do. But with every choice comes a consequence. So be mindful of that. Okay? Be mindful of consequences of your choices when you make every choice. Because eventually consequences will add up and you'll get your eternal reward in time if you don't repent of your choices now. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.